how to create customizable products in Shopify. So hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope all of you are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create your very own customizable products in Shopify in the easiest, most efficient, and most you know robust way possible. So just make sure to watch this video till the end and gain all the information you can about Shopify and how you can you know make a customized product. And do know this, that this requires no coding whatsoever. It's totally free it's totally simple and we're going to be getting into the whole you know depth of it so just watch till the end and gain all the information you can regarding this topic so without further ado let's just get straight into it so first of all obviously you're going to come here and you're going to you know make an active store for your shopify so i'm just going to go ahead skip everything you know i'm not going to go through the whole setup process i assume you're all already going to have a, an account and once you do that you're going to come here into the email section and once you do that you're going to go ahead and create an online store for yourself now once you do that as you can see it says building your store you know it's going to take you through the whole building process so we're just going to wait for it to load that up for us and um once it loads that do know this that uh, like let me give you a disclaimer again no coding we're going to go ahead and add proper full-fledged you know a shopify app okay now we're gonna pick the shopify app of the shopify app store and uh, it's pretty simple it's pretty easy pretty basic to do that so what you're gonna do in this case is uh, you're gonna as you can see this is your shopify interface you can see everything that goes on over here now obviously to work around with all the things you're uh, like i assume that you know how the whole shopify you know mechanics work now if you know everything from there on out it's gonna be cake trust me so what you're gonna do is you're gonna come here okay and once you come here as you can see over here you're gonna have all the products that your page actually consists of so here you can you know discover the products uh, add your own products if you want to and all that stuff you know you get the point but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead into the app store so you're gonna go to the app store and how you're gonna do that you're gonna click on add apps and go on shopify app store down here now once you click on the Shopify app store, you're, it's going to bring you here. Okay. And here you're obviously going to go ahead and write G dash variants. Okay. So uh, here you can see it gives you G variants. So you're going to open that. And uh, once you open G variants, obviously you're going to go ahead and find your app. Okay. The G it's called G variant product options. Okay. It's going to be by Globo. And if for some reason you don't find it over here, okay, you don't find it in your Shopify app store, that's probably, it may be because uh, of your region, it may be because of, you know, some other issue. Don't worry, there's many other ways you can do so. So you can uh, choose any of these, like BSS product and variant options and all these. So this is also totally free. You can go with this, click on add app. And once you click on add app, it uh, works with the Don theme as well, which is the custom, uh, you know, default theme that Shopify brings us when it comes to, you know, editing our page and stuff. So once you do that, we're going to load this in. And once you load this in, it's going to load us all the variants and all the options that are going to come with our page. So let's just wait for it to load up. Now, here you can see uh, once it loads up, uh, we're going to, you know, get into the custom, you could say, workings and... Uh, to basically, you know, know what kind of products you want, you're going to have to make sure to actually have a blueprint of everything that you're going to start working with. Now, basically, what you're going to do from here is once your product variations are done, uh, you're going to come here to the whole page. And here we are. So enable product options by BSS. It's embedded in your theme settings. Note, if you change your theme, please enable it again. Application status, obviously you're going to turn it on. In cart editing, price add-ons, uh, these are available for the advanced plans, but uh, obviously I'm going to keep this uh, slow and steady. Then you have option sets, okay? You're going to create option sets for yourself to, you know, make products and variants for yourself. So let's say I'm going to keep an option set as so. The priority could be nine. Let's say you're going to keep the status to whatever, apply to all products and add new option. And once you're done with that, just click on save. And uh, once you've clicked on save, yeah, you're gonna be generally good to go. Wait, let me just add a label. Uh, so save, and there we go. So we just created the option set successfully and we have a proper option set, which is enabled. Now, what you can do to, you know, give it uh, proper variance for yourself, what you can do is obviously you're gonna have to first of all, install these add-ons. And once you do that, also uh, come over here and check these pricings as well. So obviously free trials for 14 days. You have the free plan, which we are on currently right now. It gives you all these unlimited options. So you have text box, number field, drop down, radio button, color swatch, image swatch button, instruction, file upload, and all these things. Okay, so you can see it has great features to have. So what you can do 
is uh, you can either come up to this section over here or just go to you know the install app section and over here once you're here as you can see they give you you know basic guides on how to use the product options as well how to set them up like they have their own guide but uh, obviously i'm gonna set these on and once you do that you can also check their guide for the shopify products and variants but uh, i'm just gonna keep that like blank for now and let's go ahead and add our very own you know product just to give it little you know once you do that let's go ahead and add some stuff uh, so once you do that you can add media price and once you're done with that i'm gonna save okay and it's gonna save a product for us so as you can see we have our first product now how can we implement the variation that we just added okay so to implement the variation also first of all we're going to make sure that this is you know properly previewed on your online store and uh, once it's doing that go on the product and variant options once you go that I'll go on option sets and once you're over here you're going to have to make sure that this option set applies on this product over here. And as we can see, we have it on all products. So what you're going to do is you're going to reload the page. You're going to make sure it's implemented. Now you're going to go to the online store or the store editor. OK, and over there, you're going to implement these two options with each other. So as you can see, the variants are going to be implemented. And from there on out, it's going to be cake. OK, it's going to be simple to implement them with each other. So make sure to go to the product page. Here you have the product page, default product. There we go. As you can see, here's the default product. It doesn't have a lot going on for itself. So in this default product page, obviously you can go ahead and uh, add the section for the app that we found. And uh, you're going to have to make sure that you have the proper plan for this app. And once you do, obviously you're going to get all the variant options for yourself, all the product variants, all the product options. And it's going to be so simple from there on out. It's going to be so amazing. So yeah, I guess uh, that's about it. So if I were to, you know, go through the steps again and give you an overview of how all the things are to be done again, just uh, go on the product options. Once you're on the product options, go to apps on apps, search, you know, G variants or something like that. If you get G variants, that's amazing because G variants, like nothing tops that application. But if you don't have G variants, you could always just go ahead and use the external softwares like the one I'm using. And yeah, so basically you get the whole point of that. As you can see, pretty simple, pretty easy stuff to, you know, mess around with, to get your head behind. So uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you. And uh, if you need any more videos like this, please do tell me. I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand. And uh, if you have any queries regarding this video, you can let me know down in the comments. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll see you next time. Uh, before signing off, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video. And please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.